I am proud to present to you the KSS Alicorn. This is, in my opinion, the most impressive thing I have ever built in this game. It's a complete spaceship. Once it's in orbit, it never leaves. It just ferries kerbals and supplies to and from the moon, and actually anywhere else I want it to. This is enough rocket that it'll get to many other places. I could probably get this to Duna, to Eve. Don't know that I'd want to take it to Jewel, that's a long way home, but this is a very useful thing. It also will work as a communication station, a, a, a network hub, really. Uh, it, it only has a local and a, a medium range antenna, but it will serve me for when I'm trying to land the, um, um, the robot lander on the far side of the moon or something like that. Let's launch this. And we have Bob again, back from the dead, to pilot the one-man control capsule for this vessel. The main crew quarters are in here, that's a five-man storage tank. Let's turn the SAS on, turn the throttle up, and I hope this doesn't break because this is very, very expensive. Launch. And one absolutely nominal orbital insertion later, we have a very nice orbit, 150 by 150 variance of 0.3 kilometers. This will do very nicely. Now we have to bring up our real crew to meet it. Want to see something that's just plain creepy? Here's Bob in the KSS Alicorn orbiting Kerbin. But here, let's see if I can find it. Where did KSC go? Bear with me one moment, this is really cool. Uh, there we are. Star Swirl 2 on the launch pad with Bob Kerman piloting. I think I might have a Bob Kerman clone factory somewhere, and I and I ain't even mad. I am gonna just send up as many Bob Kermans as I can, put them all together in one place, and have a big Bob party. To that end, let's launch. Go. And we are in orbit with the Star Swirl 2. Our orbit almost completely matches the orbit of Alicorn. This will let us rendezvous with it fairly easily. I'm going to be doing the actual rendezvous with the Alicorn instead of with the Star Swirl because the Alicorn has a much better flight computer. It'll let me, it'll show me a bunch of rendezvous information that I would really like to have. So let's switch over to Alicorn. It is right over here. And Loading, 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 loaded. Aha. Rendezvous. Vessels. Star Swirl 2. I'll be right back because this can get kind of tedious. Alright, I'm about as close to Star Swirl 2 as I can manage. So let's begin the transfer. Let's switch over to the Star Swirl. Wait, can we... Are we close enough to... Yes, we are. We can just directly switch. And I've lost a guy. Uh, I don't know where, but for some reason... Okay, I'm guessing the game finally noticed there were two Bob Kermans in the same place at the same time, and one of them vanished. Uh, anyways, let's just EVA... Who we got here? Uh, Ken Top Kerman. And see if we can't get him over to the Alicorn.
Almost there. Almost there. Uh, break, 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 break. And up. And see if we can't dock with that passenger bay. Uh, back up, back up. Up, no, up. I want to go up and back a bit. Left, right, up. Right, down. Forward. And uh, shake it all about. And... There we are. Oh. That's always fun. Let's just get him in. And... Yeah. Ken tops in there. So let's switch over. Get Deswig out. Star Swirl 2 will just stay in orbit waiting for this crew to get back to Kerbin. It'll be the vehicle that gets him back in. Wait. Oh, dang it. I forgot a step. We need to... We need to get this going, transfer all almost all the remaining fuel left on this vessel to the Alicorn so we can get to the place we go. Uh, we didn't use much off the Alicorn, but we might as well top it off. And Bob? What the hell? I mean, really, just... What? I'm... I don't even. Anyways, uh, I'll just get this guy back over there. See you when I get there. Okay, on my way over here, Alicorn teleported uh, three times by hundreds of meters. Uh, I just, I don't know what's going on there. And, oh, don't bang your head, guy. Uh, up, down, down. Right, get in there. And, and, no, almost had it, almost had it. Get on, grab, no, missed it again. Forward, up, up, grab, board. Okay, um, now here's the question. That other bob might be made of antimatter. If it is, I don't want him in this ship. I'm going to assume that he is and leave him in orbit so he can't touch, so bob and anti bob can't touch and blow the ship up. And, anyways, that's phase one, two, that's phase three complete. Phase four is to hold this thing over to the moon and back. Let's see if we can't get that going, shall we? All right, the moon is rising. We are nearing our injection point. And why does it seem like more than half of all the things that happen happen on the half of the planet that's dark right now? No matter what I'm doing, it's almost always night, it seems. Very annoying. But in, in that's no matter. Let's get this going. Whoop. Slippery. And let's look at our orbit. Yeah, that's the thing about these engines. They're very slow. Uh, very fuel efficient, though. We've burnt only that much off this tank here. Be right back, folks. Almost there. Almost. Start to throttle down. Uh, down a bit more. Let's see what we got. Okay, starting to get something. Uh, 929. Let's bring that in pretty close. And cut there. There. 
200 kilometers. Perfect. Next step, enter lunar orbit. See you there. About getting ready to retro burn here. SAS off. Flip all the way around. And I don't even know what those pink circles mean. I mean, they used to mean they used to point at the at the Kerbal Space Center, but when you're in orbit around something else, what do they do even? I've I don't know. Things and stuff, most likely. Okay, hold that. Throttling down. Okay, that's not a perfect orbit, but it's pretty good. This is just a survey run, so we're here to to take a look at the moon, look for potential landing sites, spots of interest, that sort of thing. That's probably enough for today. I'll do the rest of this program another time. For now, there's a lot of editing to be done. See you next time.